Hey everybody, Paul Foster here with Second Hand Productions and today what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about the kind of goofy mistakes that I've made and uh, other people have made from what I've heard and one of the issues here is I, in my haste, of, I could not find a headstone that was going to work for me so in my haste I got some foam, I spray painted it lime green and I buried it thinking I'll just do this in post right that's it's always that's always the quick fix now on the surface the shot looks great there's just one problem is I've got other green objects in the shot I got all these leaves up here and then I've got this ideally had I really thought this through I would have probably painted it some kind of like blue some light blue color buried that and this would not have been an issue but for anybody that's trying to selectively key something out of a shot I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to set up our comp. I'm going to go to uh, just because I'm I want to I, and you know I really don't know. I mean I think this this bit depth thing has a factor, the color bit depth thing. So I'm going to set it to 16 bit, um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a new composition. We're going to rename this the source, not source source. There we go. And then we're just gonna cut down to what we need. I, I don't need the whole thing. So I really don't need all of this. I really am more interested in the part where she's gonna uncover our tombstone. And uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna control shift and delete. We're gonna split that there. And then we're gonna come over here to where she gets it nice and uncovered. We're gonna control shift and do that there. Now we're going to get rid of these two sources because I really don't care about those two. Let's go ahead and trim our comp down. If you hold that shift key, it'll bring, lock it in right when you get to the, to the part you like. Go up to your composition settings. And I always forget this, uh, but you can go down here and trim. So control shift X. Yeah, that's it. Now we've got everything we need. That's right. It's from beginning to end. It's everything we're looking for. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're gonna track this object. There's a lot of shake in this footage. And I'm gonna turn off the audio because that's annoying. But there's a lot of shake in this footage, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we need to track a couple things. And and first thing we gotta do is we gotta track the area around. And uh, I wanna track and get a mat of this area around uh, my object that I wanna key. And then, uh, and I'll use that tracking motion, I think, to go ahead and attach that to a null. But uh, let's go ahead and let's animate this thing. Let's go ahead and track her, get that information done. And there is one slight kick to this. As you see, once again, it didn't like the fact that I had, uh, it doesn't like my footage. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna render this, inf this footage out right here. And uh, let's see, we're gonna go file, export, add to the render queue. Let's set this guy to not to an AVI. Let's set it to J, uh, JPEG sequence. Everything else should be good on that. And then we're going to set our path. And uh, we're going to set this to almost create a new folder. Because I already. Okay, let's just delete this one. There we go. Save that. Oops. What? Uh oh. What did I just do? Uh, guys, I'm at it. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's create a new folder called Matt. Matt. All right, let's try that. Yes. Simple, simple problems. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and render this, and it's going to export a single JPEG image for every frame, and then we'll import that right into Mocha. All right, so here we are, and now we're going to go ahead and open, uh, let's see, let's, uh, ooh, let's do a new project, and it's gonna give me all this stuff, and we're gonna go ahead and select our footage right out of our lovely little YouTube folder, and you can see all the other stuff we've done. And, uh, oh, now it's gonna stick that there. We're gonna grab this very first image. So from 564 to 820, that's the images were 24 frames. It's actually 23.96 frames per second. So you wanna make sure you get your frame rate correct. Select OK, and here we go. So now we've got this in. Look at all that shake, isn't that awesome? So we're gonna start by just tracking, and I'm gonna pick a spot once again. 
you want to pick a spot where you get the most exposure of what your target is. I want to leave all this other stuff in play, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab this guy right here, and we're just going to nice and tight, nice, tight square right around there. And then, boom. And I kind of like to turn on these things so I can see. The next thing we're going to do is, uh, because the scene moves around a lot, and uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to track this to the end, and then we're going to track it backwards. So let's go ahead and uh, let's track it and see what happens. There, we've done everything in Mocha. So next thing we're gonna do is, uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna start by exploring our tracking data. Copy that to our clip form. We've done this before, right? No real shocker there. So we create a new null, null object so we can track this nice and pretty. We gotta pull this back to the beginning. And let's, let's uh, paste this here. And let's just see how our null object tracks. It's pretty good. I like it. Oh, nice, all right. Then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to uh, duplicate our source a couple times here. We're going to next, we're going to pre-comp this as our, our uh, matte mask. And then we're gonna open this guy up right there. First thing we're gonna do is uh, we're going to actually get rid of this. I don't need this, I don't need that one. I need the second one. So. Uh, we're going to say a new solid. Now, one of the things that we're doing here is we're creating a, we're kind of creating a, a bogus mask. And uh, we're gonna, going to take our, we're gonna export our shape data. It's gonna give us two pieces of shape data here, but we're gonna ex export it, copy to the clipboard, go back to here, start our first thing. And now we've got these two pieces of shape data. It's really easy to deal with, you can go into your effects, and uh, you can disable one or the other. Uh, oh, they're both selected. Yeah, let's not do that. One of these is that one. All right, so we got rid of the second shape data. Don't need it, and you can actually delete it. That's fine. All we care about is really this, and, and once you look at how it plays out the scene, it does a pretty good job. And the only thing we're gonna key out is green, so that's good. All right, now the kicker here though is I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to keep it like that. I want to actually invert this so what we're gonna do is uh, uh, let's go to you know let's see uh, I'm gonna go to my effects channel invert uh, let's see did that do it? It did the trick? Did it do the trick? I don't think so. Didn't do what I wanted. I don't like that. Let's go back to our shape. I know what I did. Oh, let's go here. There we go. Now we go. And then we just go to add. All right. Let's go to subtract. Let's not do that. Let's go to multiple. There we go. All right, you get the idea. All right, so what we're doing now is we're cutting out this area and we're tracking it with this white solid. And then we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna go ahead and put our key light on this original source footage. So you're gonna take key light, where's my key light? We're gonna put this on the source footage because all I wanna do is key out the green. And I need to find out actually. Yeah. Let's find a good spot. Oh, well, usually over here is a good spot. All right, there's a good spot. So now what we're going to do is we're going to key out this green, and we're going to move it. And we got all this dirt and everything that's right on top of it. That's good. And then we're going to switch this over to our screen mat. You see what we've done there? Now we can up our gain a little bit. That's going to that's going to take out some of that dirt. We can bring down. We can bring up our Eh, let's bring it down. We can also adjust our screen mats. We can clip our whites just to blend it a little better because we have this hard cut off here, which is like the edge. But that's what we want to do. All right. So now I've got this really cool mat right there. And I've excluded all the other stuff. So all, all the foliage and everything is excluded. Okay. So 
Now I gotta remember how to do this. Okay. So uh, let me see. Pretty sure. I go in here. We've got our source data, right? I can get that. And now we go back. And then I stick my key light on. Oh no, wait. I masked it. That's right. I knew that. Do a Luma mask. And then voila. We've got all this. We've got all that. Now I can clean this up. I can clean this up because there's going to be some. There's going to be some of this other stuff, and the, the easiest way to do that is I've got this null object, right? So I'm going to go ahead and I've, if I want to see what my my headstone is going to look like, I can pull this guy out right there. We'll we'll stretch it up like that, right? And then we'll we'll make this a 3D object, and then. I like to just kind of like position it and get it nice and nice and good the way I think it should go. Let's grab that. Let's turn it that way. Hit your V, give yourself control again, and you can just find yourself a good spot where you can blend this in. You know, you want it to sound look good. Uh, let's go. Let's take our Y. Nah, not the Y. There's that. Let's take our Z. Let's. Let's re- oh, oh, the other way, the other way. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna get there. There it is. Okay, so now we've got our we've got our name and everything that we wanted right there. We've got a key, and if I want to play some more with this mask, and you notice I have all my green is in my shot. The reason why is because I did this map. I basically took a white solid, I tracked my subject, my object, and here I can go in and and right here with my with my uh, effects I can tweak I can cut down I can clip the blacks and that's gonna bring that's gonna bring that back out I can I don't want to go too far out with that and then I, if I come back here now I've cut back on some of this like I still have some stuff here and I'm gonna show you how to fix that I have this I have this area here so I'm gonna add a new adjustment layer to this and on that adjustment layer what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a mask right I'm going to apply a mask just around this area here okay and then I'm going to put my I'm going to go get that hue beam because I want to get rid of that green so the hue and saturation I'm going to stick it on on that adjustment layer Right, and then I'm gonna go grab my greens, and I'm just gonna desaturate my greens. It's that simple. You don't have to go crazy with it. You don't have to do anything exotic. See, I can bring that down, and it really just strips out the green in that little area. There we go. And then if you really, you really want to, you want to keep the greens in there to where you're not completely blowing it out. You can bring the browns and the yellows by dragging this like that. All right, so now we've got dirt, we've got all our green leaves and everything. So there you have it. That is how you, how simple it is for you to mask out. And I think I, I think I did track this thing, right? So I mean, I'm not really here to show you every little nuance, but just by tracking that map data, I should track pretty good. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, you can go farther with that if you want, but you don't have to. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to selectively mask out green screen objects when you have other greens, other objects with the same color and you forgot to use the blue screen mask. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, please subscribe, support, share with your friends, and we'll see you next time.